Hey guys, it's Nikki, and welcome to the Stell Shampoo 400 subscriber special. Now, I know what you're thinking, Nikki, right now you're a lot closer to 500 subscribers and then 400 subscribers, but you know, better late than never. And around this time last year, I did a year in review sort of thing for games, so that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be a two part commentary. First off, we're going over some Black Ops 2 gameplay. These are some really nice long kill streaks I had. And next up, we have some Assassin's Creed 3 gameplay. But first, we're going to talk about games, and then we're going to talk about personal and channel stuff. I'm going to tell a bunch of stories. These stories are going to be very off topic, but the topic is that there is no topic, so I guess I'm not off topic anyway. Let's get started with the games first, though, and then we're going to talk about other things and tell a few stories. This is going to be a really long commentary, so I suggest you go get some popcorn and make yourself comfy, and let's get started. 2011, the year before, this was huge for games. I mean, gaming completely blew up. It was mind-blowing how many games were being released that were awesome. We had Battlefield 3, Uncharted 3 for us PS3 players, Skyrim, Assassin's Creed Revelations, and I also played Saints Row the Third, which was a little more under the radar, but it was still an awesome game. So 2012 didn't quite live up to 2011's game release, but 2012 still had a few awesome games. First off, we have Black Ops 2, obviously, and I think this is my favorite game of the year. I mean, across a single player, they really, really stepped it up. Multiplayer, if I had to develop a Black Ops multiplayer, I think this is pretty much how it would be done. I do disagree with a few things, lag compensation, stuff like that. But other than that, Black Ops 2 multiplayer, I think, is completely, nearly, okay, maybe that's not completely, nearly flawless. I really like it, not too much to complain there. I recently finished playing Far Cry 3, beat the single player, and that game was very solid. I know people are describing it as... Skyrim with guns, but it does have a few Assassin's Creed 3 elements to it. I mean, you have to climb up to a tall sort of structure to reveal part of the map. What does that sound like, Far Cry 3? Kind of like Assassin's Creed. They both were developed by Ubisoft, so you can see similarities there. Black Ops 2 is probably my game of the year, though. Far Cry 3, also a solid mention. Assassin's Creed 3, probably like that more than Far Cry 3, obviously, because I post out a lot on my channel. Multiplayer is very glitchy. Single player was glitchy, but it was still a very enjoyable game nonetheless. Prototype 2 was probably the quickest game for me to fully complete ever. I got literally 100% done in that game so quickly. It only took me a matter of weeks, maybe even one week. That was a really simple game to complete, but it was still very, very good. It was very therapeutic to go around with all these mutant superpowers just mowing people down. That was really awesome. And to round off my talk about games this year, Minecraft. I know Minecraft wasn't released this year, but the Minecraft updates they've been pushing out are awesome. I mean, we got pistons, new mobs. Minecraft is, I do play Minecraft, I just don't post it on my channel because everyone is. I might, I don't know. But Minecraft updates just blowing my mind. Also Battlefield 3, I know Battlefield 3 was released in 2011, but the Battlefield map packs. Armored Kill, not so much, but Close Quarters and Aftermath I've been really enjoying. They are really doing a good job keeping that game alive. And last but not least, another game I've been playing. This is an indie game called Don't Starve, kind of like Minecraft Survival, where you have to go around, collect resources, and not die. That game deserves an honorable mention. If you don't know what that is, I'm sure you can YouTube it, and there will be a few videos on Don't Starve out there. But that completely finishes off the games of 2012 that I wanted to talk about briefly. All right, this is going to be the long and bulk of the commentary. This is going to be a ton of stories that I have that revolve around things that happened this year. I'm sure you guys are going to find this interesting, and I'm going to be very tangenty on this, but it's for entertainment and for you guys to get a more fuller view of the stories I have to tell. So I'm not going to go through every single month this year because that's 12 months, 12 stories. This commentary is going to take forever. I picked out a few months and a few really notable stories. I've had some really high highs and low lows this year. Been really happy at some points, been really sad at some points, and we're going to talk about all of them. I noticed the sad stories are a lot more entertaining, but I'm not going to be a negative Nikki this commentary. Let's talk about some happy things starting off in February. Now, it's a pretty normal thing for me nowadays. I have a car and my driver's license and stuff for me to go out far away from home. I'm talking like hours away. My parents are cool with that as long as I come back home alive. But the very first time I actually did something like that was when I went to San Francisco. I live a few hours away from there, and in February, Scene Anders was having a fan meetup over in Golden Gate Park in San Francisco now. San Francisco is pretty far away from me like I said so it was completely different for me. I just turned 17 to go out far away from home, plan this trip out with my friends which me and them did completely on our own. It was pretty amazing how we managed to not get lost or end up in a completely different state or something stupid like that. So we planned out this whole trip, went over to meet Scene Anners, Captain Sparkles and Juicer. If you don't know Scene Anners plays a bunch of different games. Captain Sparkles does Minecraft, and I think Juicer does Minecraft too, I don't really watch his channel. Although if you know who I am, I'm not sure how you don't know who those people are, because they are huge commentators. Two of them have over a million subscribers. But anyway, I had to meet those guys, shake their hands, and I played a game of Don't Break the Ice Against Scene Anners. I unfortunately lost, but that gameplay is actually on his channel. You can see me 
on Senior Energy's channel to this day, which is awesome. And just that whole experience, me playing out, I really felt independent. Feel like I was becoming a man for the first time. I managed to do something on my own without my parents and stuff like that. And it was far away too. I'm not talking like I go to the grocery store and pick up groceries all the time for them. But I mean, actually going really far away and planning a trip for a day was awesome doing that by myself. And San Francisco is a beautiful place. It's a city. If you've never been there, maybe you don't live in the U.S., have no idea what San Francisco is. But very tall buildings. Not somewhere I'd be able to live, but Golden Gate Park was an equally awesome place. I would love to go there again. This is coming from a guy who doesn't like nature very much, but that place was beautiful. And it's huge. It has a few miles and miles of land that you can hang out in. There are a bunch of museums and stuff, too. A bunch of places to eat. And I'm really glad he had the meeting there because that place is probably somewhere that I would hang out all the time if I did live in San Francisco. Although, you know, San Francisco is just not a place that I've been raised in so it'd be really weird to go over there in that new sort of environment but yeah february got to see cnn got to go to golden gate park that was my high of that month and it looks like i'm starting to run out of call of duty gameplay so we're going to switch over to assassin's creed 3 in another video it's going to be uploaded shortly after this one so you can click the annotation that's going to pop up on the screen right about now to head over to that video or if you're on mobile you can go into the description i'm not leaving you guys out you can click on that button and you will be taken to part two of the 400 subscriber special i have a ton more stories to tell it's going to be a full length gameplay so i hope you guys are going to go over there and listen to the rest of my ramblings but i want to take this short intermission to thank you guys for clicking on any of my videos not just this one thank you guys for the support i never thought i'd have 400 people following me and listening to me because without you guys i would just be some random crazy dude talking to a wall and a microphone so thank you guys for watching my videos, any support you've given me, any likes, comments. I hope to see you all in the future and in my next video. 400 subscriber special part 2, hit that annotation or that link in the description. I will see you guys there.